Hi, I'm Liz Nedden. Let's have a look at multiplying fractions. So here's our first example. So I've got three quarters. So you can see that both with the written form and in visual. And I want to multiply three quarters by two fifths. So I want to find out how much two fifths of three quarters is. So it's going to be, the answer is going to be smaller than the original amount. So three quarters, I want to find a sm some part of that. So that's what the times is doing, is finding a smaller amount. So I take my three quarters and I'm going to overlay with that my two fifths. And that now makes a grid of 20. What I need to do is I need to look at which of those are, have been coloured in both the blue and the purple. And that is that section there. And that's what my answer is going to be, 6 out of 20. Okay, now if I look at what happens to the numbers, the denominator, if I take the numerators, the numbers on the top, 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Then do the denominators, 4 times 5 is equal to 20. So that leads us to this, multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators, and simplify our answer, which I didn't do in the previous question, but we'll see that shortly. So if I want to find 3 eighths of, or times 2 thirds, so I want to find out how much 2 thirds of 3 eighths is. So to do that, I'm going to take my numerators, 3 times 2, and I'm going to multiply the denominators, 8 times 3. And that gives me an answer of 6 over 24. Now what I need to do is simplify that. So I look at 6 and 24 and think, what's the highest common factor? Well, the highest common factor is going to be 6. So I'm going to divide both top and bottom by 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1. And 24 divided by 6 is 4. So it simplifies down to 1 quarter. Thanks very much for watching.